Hey there Dev Squad Vertus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS tutorial series. Within today's video, we're going to be showing you how you can set up a smoke grenade for your FPS project. Now what we already have in our game is a grenade, a frag grenade which is going to damage enemies. Now in today's video we're going to be doing a smoke grenade which is simply going to spawn a particle effect and that is it. So it's going to be a lot simpler and we're going to be using a lot of the code that we've written from the last grenade. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into Unreal Engine and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our blueprints folder. And within here, we are going to find our grenade actor that we have at the moment. And we are simply going to duplicate this and give this the name Smoke Grenade Actor. And then what we're going to do from there is we're going to open this up and we're going to start playing around with all of the code inside of this. So what you're going to notice is inside of here we've got a lot of unnecessary code that we're simply not going to need. So having said that, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be breaking all of this down. So everything after the spawn sound at location, we can remove that. We are not going to need this. And then with the rest of this, so all of this is going to work the way that we want it to, and turning this into a grenade is going to be really straightforward. All I need to do is just change my emitter template from the particle effect that we have for the explosion to our smoke particle effect. So if we go ahead and jump into our content browser, we can find something suitable. Inside of our starter content, particles, and then smoke, we can use this. So what we're gonna be doing is going in here, emit a template, we're going to be changing this to our smoke. And if you want to test to see what this is going to look like inside of your scene, you can drop it in here and you can see we've got our smoke. Now what we are going to need to do is make this bigger so that it is actually going to be like that of a smoke grenade, but we can do all of this inside of our code. So with things the way that it is at the moment, what we're going to be doing is now setting up the input so the player can actually throw this smoke grenade. So go to our third person character. We're going to open this up and inside of here we're going to look for our input action for the grenade. Now what we're going to be doing is essentially copying this code. So we're going to press Ctrl C and Ctrl V with it selected to copy and paste this. Now we need an input action, so we're going to have to create one of those. So go to edit, project settings, and then from here we're going to go to inputs. We've got our one for the grenade, and we're basically going to do the same thing. We're going to create a new action mapping, and we're going to give this the name smoke grenade. And then with this, what we're going to be doing from here is we're going to be binding this to the F key on the keyboard. You can also key bind this to different controllers, so for the PlayStation, for the Xbox, and you can just add these by pressing the little add action mapping to do this. With that done, going back into our third person character, we can now search for our smoke grenade action event. And when you press it, we are going to just put it in just like that. So now if we go ahead and compile and test this, if we press G, it is going to spawn our normal grenade and you can hear that exploding and all of that good stuff. Now with our smoke grenade, we can also work with that. So press the F key and as you can see there, it is going to spawn our smoke grenade. Now what you are going to notice is with our smoke grenade, it's doing the explosion. So we need to make sure we have changed over the template. So go back to our smoke grenade or go back to our character rather and inside of here for our class you want to change this from your grenade class to your smoke grenade actor because one is going to do damage and cause the explosion whereas the second one's just going to do the smoke so let's go ahead and do this now so let's just press f a couple of times to throw that grenade and as you can see here it is going to start spawning in that smoke now, what you will notice is with this smoke, it is going to be rolling along with the grenade actor, and that's not what we want. So having said that, if we go ahead and open up our smoke grenade, if we find this in here, so open it up, smoke grenade actor, 
what we're going to be doing is making sure we are not spawning this attached because we do not want it to be attached to that. So with that, get rid of that. And then we are going to do spawn emitter at location instead. So we're going to put this in just like that, like we did before. We are going to use the smoke. So if we just search for smoke, we can find this P underscore smoke. And then the location, we are going to be getting the world location like we did before. And we're going to be putting it in here. And then once we've done this, what we're going to be doing is just playing around with the scale until we get the right scale. I'm going to go for a simple five, five and five, which is five times the normal smoke scale. So let's go ahead and give this a go. So I'm going to press F to spawn in my smoke grenades. And as I spawn these, you can see now we have got our smoke. It's really nice and big and it's consistent with what you would expect from a smoke grenade. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this and you can have a lot of a lot of fun. You know, there is lots and lots of different variations that you can make of the different grenade types. You've got flashbangs, smoke grenades, but this should be the main area that you are going to want. Now, what you will notice is with the smoke at the moment, it is not going to be disappearing. And the reason for that is because we haven't told it to do so. So go into our smoke grenade actor blueprint. And then lastly, all we're going to be doing is running a delay of 10 seconds. And then with this, we are simply going to be destroying the actor. So we're going to do destroy actor. Target is going to be itself and that is going to destroy this. Now what we're also going to do is destroy the components and with this we're going to use the sphere which we've got in there anyway and you're going to want to put your destroy components in first because if you do destroy actor first you're not going to be able to reference it and it's going to break our code. So what you should have should look like this. Target we are going to destroy the sound and we're also going to destroy the particle effect as well and then the destroy actor is just going to remove anything else. So make sure you've got those references in there. Hit play and then we're going to throw this one last time. So we're going to make some space. We're going to press F to spawn it in. And as you can see here, we have now got our smoke particle system. Now what we're going to need to do is give it 10 seconds to make sure this has worked. So there you go. 10 seconds is over. It's disappeared and we can go in and we can chuck some more of these. And we can play around with the different types. We've got our smoke, we've got our grenades, and our FPS game is really starting to come to life now. Anyway guys, that is absolutely everything for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.